Hello, and welcome to our presentation of the CTM Softphone. My name is Matt Horstman, and I'm a Senior Customer Support Engineer at Call Tracking Metrics. Thank you for taking the time to watch this quick video in which we hope you get more familiar and comfortable with our virtual soft phone. We are going to review our soft phone requirements and features, as well as how to open the soft phone, answer calls, and manage your conversations. Let's begin with the soft phone requirements, which is just an audio device, a web browser, and a reliable internet connection. For your audio device, we recommend using a wired headset to avoid issues with Bluetooth or other frequencies. We optimize our system for the latest versions of Google Chrome, so we recommend using this browser without any extensions or plugins installed. To ensure agent availability and audio quality, you will need a reliable internet connection. Since there are multiple variables in your network which could affect your connection, we recommend running the Twilio network test to get an expectation of what your network can support. This can be found at networktest.twilio.com. We also recommend enabling quality of service or QoS in your network whenever possible. This will prioritize audio packets within your network to help ensure audio quality. You might find these options with your internet service provider or in your router configurations. Finally, a wired ethernet connection is preferred over Wi-Fi since it typically provides a faster and more reliable connection in comparison. Now that we've covered the soft phone requirements, let's see how to open the phone and answer calls. To open the soft phone, navigate to the call log, then click desk mode to open the desk mode view, which puts the soft phone next to your call log in the same browser window. Or you can click the phone icon instead to open a pop-out soft phone in a separate small browser window. This option allows you to navigate around our system while you are on a call or a chat. When a call is routed to you, a notification will display in your soft phone. You can click the answer button to answer the call or click ignore to dismiss it. Ignoring the call will stop ringing for you, but will continue to ring other available agents if applicable, such as routing to a call queue. By default, a ringtone will play when an incoming call is routed to you. You might also see a desktop notification. And we also offer auto answer options, which can prevent the incoming call notification since the call is automatically answered when it's routed to the agent. Next, let's see what is displayed in the soft phone when we are not on a call or chat. Once a call or chat is active, this display will change and we will review that later. Following our screenshot, item one in the top left corner is the agent status. This shows your user icon and current status, such as available or not available. Looking at item two, we see the number to dial. You can type or paste the phone number to dial in this section. Item three is the dial pad, which you can tap or click for number entry. This can be used to enter the phone number to dial, as well as navigating voice menus during your active calls. Item four shows the soft phone settings gear icon. This opens the soft phone settings, which can be used to change your audio device and other preferences. Item five shows the contacts icon, which you can click to view recent and suggested contacts from your account. Item six is where you can toggle your availability. Click here to make yourself available or not available for calls and chats. And the smaller image below shows an option to toggle your availability for specific queues. This requires connection options to be configured within each queue and allows you to be available in a specific set of queues while not available in others. Our Teams feature could also introduce multiple tabs and a recording button to your soft phone. The soft phone tabs will allow you to toggle between managing calls, customer chats, or internal calls and chats with your teammates. The recording button allows you to stop or start recording audio during your call. As an example, this can be helpful when collecting credit card information for payment. We mentioned the soft phone settings previously, and this is what that screen looks like. Again, you can access this menu by clicking the gear icon in the upper right of your soft phone. Starting from the top, we see the report issue button. This is a quick way to send feedback to our product team, but does not create a support ticket. To the right of this, we see a toggle button for light and dark mode, which changes the display of our system for you. We find agents on night shifts tend to prefer the dark mode view. Next, we see the phone number field. You can enter your phone number here to start receiving calls on an external line in addition to your soft phone. Below this is the voicemail greeting. This is where you can enable and configure your personal voicemail. 
This is useful for calls routed directly to you, but does not apply for calls routed to a queue. You can also find the phone number and voicemail options in your user profile. Next, we see the audio device options. This is where you can specify which audio device to use for your audio input, audio output, and the ringtone alerts for inbound calls. You could set these to all use the same device, or for example, you might wanna play inbound call ringtones on your computer speakers to help get your attention, and then use the headset for your audio input and output for the phone call itself. Below the audio devices, we provide an option to expand the view panels when you answer. This will expand the call record to a full screen view, which can help you focus on the active call. Finally, we see the app calls option at the bottom of the screen. This acts like a remote control for your phone calls when answering on an external line. In other words, you can answer calls on your personal phone number while using the soft phone to control that call for transfers or adding teammates. As I mentioned earlier, once you are on an active call or chat, the soft phone display will change. Following our screenshot, item one in the top left is still the agent status showing your user icon and current status, such as available or not available. Item two shows the call controls, which are used to manage your conversation. This allows functions such as hold, mute, keypad, transfer, add, and participants. The hold option will place the caller on hold either for yourself or for anyone else to answer. The mute option mutes your microphone. The keypad returns to the dial pad view of the phone, which is helpful for key press entry and voice menus. The transfer option allows you to transfer calls to another agent, another phone number, a queue, or a voice menu. The add option will add another agent or another phone number to the call, and you may choose to place the caller on hold before adding. This is similar to the term warm transfer. The participants button allows you to view all agents and customers on the current call. Call moderators can mute or dismiss other participants. You can also change the moderator of a call, which is helpful for warm transfers. Item three in the screenshot shows the dialed number and call duration, where you can see the phone number of the person you are connected to and the length of your conversation. And finally, item four shows the hang up button to end the current call. With our Teams feature, you could also see a confirmation prompt before the call is ended. To the left of the hang up button, we see a text button. With our Teams feature, this option will display the text button in the soft phone, which allows you to easily send a text message to your active caller. And this concludes our presentation to the Call Tracking Metrics soft phone. Thank you again for your time and attention. If you have any questions or encounter any issues, please reach out to our support team and we're happy to help.